Hmm. Let's see how we can do folding, reversing, scaling and shifting on a given signal. So this type of terms are related to the subject signals and systems in Mumbai University. You may find such type of terms in other syllabuses also. I hope this is useful for you. So let's start with a very simple example. So here we have a question in which they have given us a signal. And then they have told us to sketch various uh, types of signal. Not various types of signal. These are the functions that we have to perform on the given signal. So let's start. We will take the first part and let's start doing that. So here they have given x2 of t. The given signal is x of t. We have to draw x2 of t. So here what we have to do is we have to divide the given signal by 2. So they have given us the signal in multiplication form but we have to divide it. Now this uh, axis in the question is called as a t or the time axis and this axis is the amplitude axis. So always keep in mind when we are solving sums whenever we have a value along with t we have to perform that on the t axis or on the time axis. So here we have to divide the value on the time axis by 2. So we will divide it by 2. So everything becomes 0 is going to become 0 by 2 which is 0. Then 1 becomes 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5. And 2 becomes 2 divided by 2 which is 1. The amplitude will remain as it is. So let's draw the signal. This is how it should look. So this is how the signal will look. So this is solved. Now let's move to the second part. So next we have to solve x t divided by 2. So in the question they have given t divided by 2. So we have to do the reverse which is multiplication. So we will multiply the values on time axis by 2. Now why 2? Because they have given us the value 2 over here. If we have 3 or 4, we will multiply it by 3 or 4, whatever is given in the question. So here we will multiply the value 2 with the, va uh, with the values given on the time axis in the original uh, signal which is in the question. So let's do that. So the values are 0, 1 and 2. So if I multiply 0 by 2, I have 0. If I multiply 1 by 2, it is 2. And if I multiply 2 by 2, it is 4. So this is how our signal should look. Amplitude remains as it is. So here you can see our signal has expanded because we have multiplied it by 2. So this is the final signal. Let's solve the third part. So the third part is x of t minus 1. Now in this type of questions, we have to solve the values given inside the bracket. So how do we have to solve this? So we have to equate the values given inside the bracket equal to 0. So we will equate this part with 0. So we will have a value for t which is t is equal to 1. So now here what happens is this is our given signal which was given to us in the question. Okay. So your t is equal to 1 which means on time axis our origin has shifted to 1. So or basically what we have to do is we have to uh, add this value 1 to all the values in the uh, values on the time axis t. So we have the values 0, 1 and 2 on the time axis. We have to add 1 in them. So the signal is shifted to this values. Now this same signal we have to draw like this. So as 0 has become 1 now, 
whatever signal we have at 0 in the given question comes at 1. So we will draw it over here which is this with same amplitude which is 1. Then whatever was at 1 is now shifted to 2 after adding 1 to it. So this part is shifted here and then whatever was at 2 is shifted to 3. So we have it over here. So this is how x t minus 1 will look. Next is x of t plus 1. Similar to the previous uh, part, we have to equate the values inside the bracket to 0. So t plus 1 is equal to 0. So t is equal to minus 1. So we have to add this value of t in all the values which are at time axis. So we have 0, 1 and 2. So minus 1. Basically we have to add. So for 2 avoid confusion let's keep the addition sign in middle and then we'll write minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 which is 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 minus because plus minus is minus so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so whatever was at these values is now shifted to all of these values so the final signal should look like this So whatever was at 0 which is this should come at minus 1. So it is over here. Then whatever was at 1 is shifted to 0. So it is here. And then whatever was at 2 goes to 1. So this is the signal here. Okay. So this is the final answer to the fourth part. Okay, so let's move ahead to the fifth part of the question given to us. So in the fifth part, they have asked us to sketch x of 1 minus t. So similar to the previous two parts, we have to equate the values inside the bracket to 0. So here we have to keep one thing in mind. Whenever uh, inside the bracket we have a negative sign in front of t, we have to sketch x of minus t first okay so if you see in the previous questions which is here we had x of t minus 1 and x of t plus 1 so in both the cases t was positive so we didn't have to bother about anything but here if you see we have x of 1 minus t. So t over here has a negative sign. So what we have to do is, our first step is going to be that we will have to draw a plot x of minus t first and then our second part will be the usual which is equating the part inside the bracket to 0. So first what you have to do is, you will have to draw x of minus t. So in signals and system, whenever there is a negative sign in front of t, it means that we have to draw the mirror of the given signal. Okay. So x of t, which was given to us in the question, looked like this. This is the given question. x of t looked like this. Now what we have to draw is, we have to draw x of minus t. So, how we have to draw this is we have to draw the mirror. Okay. So, what we have to do is we will plot all the points. Uh, uh, we also have to draw negative uh, axis over here because if you know, if you see yourself in the mirror, you just see the opposite side. I hope I'm clear. Let's ne not get into all that. So, what we have to do here is that we have to uh, see the point 0 over here. So, whatever is at 0 remains at 0. In x of minus t. Whatever is at 1 comes on minus 1. So we will just tilt it. Okay. So whatever was at 0 is at 0. Then whatever is at 1 comes at minus 1. And whatever was at 2 comes to minus 2. So this is how x of t was. And this is how x of minus t should look. Okay. 
I hope this is clear. So let's move ahead. Now we have solved the first part which was x of minus t. Now next what we have to do is we have to solve this part. So we'll solve this. So what we get is t is equal to 1. So as usual which we did in the previous part we have to add this value 1 into the values which were at the time axis. So now our values have changed. We have the values minus 2 minus 1 and 0. So we will add this value 1 to all of these values on the time axis. So minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And 0 plus 1 equals to 1. So now these values or whatever signal was at these values is now shifted to all of these values. Okay, so a signal should look like this, which is x of 1 minus t. So whatever was at minus 2, which is this, comes at minus 1. So this we have the amplitude 0 is over here. Then we go ahead. Then uh, at minus 1, we had amplitude 1, okay. Now that amplitude has to come at 0, so we have 1 over here. Then next at 0, we had 1, which is now shifted to 1 on time axis. So here is 1, so this part comes over here. So now you see the signal has delayed a little bit. This is called as delaying. So this is my signal which is shifted towards the right. This is how we, this is the final answer to the given question. Salu. Okay. So the last and final part which was asked to us in the question was this. We had to plot x of minus 1 minus t. So again if you notice there is a negative sign in front of t. So as we saw in the previous question over here, we have to solve x of minus t first and then we have to do minus 1 or minus t equal to 0. So let's solve this part and then let's move ahead and draw this signal. So minus 1 minus t is equal to 0 which becomes t is equal to minus 1. Okay, so let's keep this aside and move ahead. We'll draw this signal now. So we are going to draw this. Now if you see this is going to look similar to this because this is what was, this is what is x minus t, x of t looked like this and then x of minus t we had drawn over here so this is what is going to come here so let's draw it again x of minus t so x of minus t let me draw it once again for you see now if so this is how if my pen is the mirror of this pen is going to be like this so you just have to rotated by 180 degrees okay so this is how my pen was and this is how the mirror of the pen is going to be similar to the signal this is the given signal which is x of t now we have to plot x of minus t so this signal is going to move towards this side okay so so this is x of minus t so let's move ahead to the second part we have already solved this minus 1 minus t is equal to 0 we got t is equal to minus 1 so now what we have to do is we have to add this value minus 1 to all the values that we have here on the t axis or time axis to be precise so these are the values minus 2 minus <coughs> 1 and 0 so we are going to add this value minus 1 to all of these values on the time axis so this is minus 2 minus 1 because plus and minus is minus so let me write it for you minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so now whatever uh, signal I had of these values is going to shift towards this values so let me plot the final signal over here
So whatever was at minus 2, which is this part, is coming here. Whatever was between minus 2 and minus 1 comes between minus 3 and minus 2. So this is here. Amplitude remains 1 always. Then uh, whatever was between minus 1 and 0 moves towards minus 2 and minus 1. So this is how it should look. So this is the final signal. So this is the solution to all the questions or all the things that were asked in the question. I hope if the video was helpful, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You will find all the engineering related concepts on this channel in the future videos. So please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching again.